Hello YouTube, doing the hero again, bringing you another game of Halo 4, Capture the Flag. Okay, now this game is on a drift. Uh, drift is a map that I enjoy playing, unfortunately it doesn't come up enough in Flag in my opinion. Um, but it's great to obviously have a have a high ranked game that I can that I can show you. Okay, now the main thing on a drift is controlling the overshield, that's that's a must. Um, if you get the overshield, it's almost like having an extra player on your side, so it's something that you really need to concentrate on. Now our guy calls out that he managed to get the overshield, so that means that we're going to be making a push into their base straight away. So I lift over and just try and give as much support to our flag carrier as I can. Okay, now I try and grab the flag, but unfortunately they spawned a sniper behind me, so I was unable to get there. So a bit of an unlucky spawn for us. But still a good position to be in with getting the flag out of their base. We still have 20 seconds to get another touch and the flag's in a much more accessible position now. Now I decide to put my enemies on at this point, so the enemy team have no idea how many enemies or how many of us are attacking them. Um, we're able to obviously capitalise on that and, and take their entire team out at this point. So great play, great teamwork by us there, able able to get this flag out. So great for a first run. Now one of their guys must have been sat on our flag cap waiting for it to reset. Obviously I see that and decide to run around the opposite side to the rest of my guys to try and put their exit on. As you can see they're just unaware of what's happening and we're able to, to make short work of stopping this run. Okay, now a bit of a fail, but the, the attempt here was to jump across the man cannon and get round that corner and hope that the guy would follow me so they're less likely to get another touch on the flag. Unfortunately I get stuck in the man cannon and that didn't happen. And again, just trying to run into their flag carrier to stop their run, but too many of their guys now have managed to get to their flag, so so they'll, they'll be capping this one now. So, close game, one all. You know, obviously very very skilled players on both sides. You know, as is with all my high ranking games. Um, you know, obviously very good players always on both teams. In fact, I think the last time I checked there was less than 150 um, CSR 50s in flag. So out of all the people that have ever played Halo 4, um, according to Halo Tracker there is only 150 of us that have got a 50 in flag. So maybe that can sort of give you an idea of the level of play that we're obviously playing at here. Okay, so just trying to do some damage with my grenades before I jump around the BR well. Okay, I'm able there to clean ice blaster up. Okay, so trying to coordinate attacking from two different positions here. I can see two guys are coming through the attic. So I'm just trying to distract the guys bottom centre to shoot me so our guys can get a touch. Okay, so I managed to distract them long enough for our guy to get into the corridor. I mean, yes, I did die, but that was a death definitely worth taking. Because yet again, we now have the flag in a more accessible position to cap. Okay, KD in flag, in my opinion, is not very important, depending on what type of plays that you're making. Okay, drop down. Aftermath, totally oblivious to, to what's going on. I managed to get a touch on the flag and then carry on this run. Okay, so I see the two guys waiting for me. Don't really want to challenge that, I just want to jump over the lift. And worst case scenario, I get shot in the back and somebody else can finish the run. But I'm able to finish it myself. Okay, so... Again, we have centre control, so we're just about to make another push here, we're all sort of getting set up for it. Now, I managed to take this guy out in the attic, and I'm just chucking some nades down, hopefully we can summon down at the bottom. Now, I do manage to get a kill from the grave, so that's great, but I'm taking out myself. And the rest of my guys now just coming in to hopefully, hopefully get that flag out. Okay, now bad decision by me here. I uh, just ran too far away from the flag to be able to reset it. Now that might look like a good play to some people, killing their flag guy, but the whole reason the flag is now in that position is because I messed up by not waiting close to the flag to reset it. 
So now you can see two more guys are coming in and the flag is in that position because of my blunder. Okay, so you always want to try and make sure that you're definitely going to reset that flag rather than take the risk that their guys are going to be able to get to it just like I have. Okay, so now that they've managed to get the flag to their base, there's very little chance that we're going to stop them because obviously their spawn points are going to be closer to that than ours. So they're going to have much more map, map distance to cover before we can get to stopping them. So, unfortunately, they managed to cap that one. Now, as you can see now, all four of our guys are in their base starting to slay. So, this is a great position for us to be in now. Um, yeah, as you can see, all their guys down and we've got three in their base. Now I feel that sorry for the enemy team at this point, I just decided to shoot Matt. So it just, just start, it is starting to feel that little bit one-sided. So I'm sorry about that Matt, I do apologise. Okay, so I'll jump over, try and give a little bit of support fire on this guy and then just run the flag up the stairs. I do get knocked off by, I think that was a grenade. There's no point waiting for my shields to come back. Yeah, I just might as well fin finish running up the stairs. And if I do get shot by someone, somebody else will just finish the run. Okay, so I have a quick look to see if we're going to get the overshield or not. It looks like we are. And I can see that they're obviously going to be running the flag through their base now. So I'm just trying to cut them off. And excellent, I managed to do that. I bounce a few nades on the corner to try and get him and I'm able to stop him. Okay, and a few more of our guys now have turned up. Okay, now there's no point our carrier trying to protect this flag because we're already two flag caps ahead, so he just runs the flag away and me and Matt are just trying to hold them off as long as we can. So if, they're, if they're trying to cap this flag, they're not defending their flag, so therefore we're going to end up with them. Okay, I'm taken out, just trying to trying to take on the guy while I'm one shot, but it makes no difference because the flag's, the flag's already out of their base, so that's the perfect position to be in. Again, as you can see here, here it comes over the lift. So, good game. Um, again, different map. Adrift is one of my favourites. Thanks for that Honda, that was very considerate of you. Um, typical for Honda for betraying me at the end of a game, it is something that we, we do kind of do to each other quite a lot. As you can see there, we ended up winning 5-3, so great flag game by us. I um, hope you enjoyed it, I'll bring you some more content when I've got some, shouldn't be too long, I am playing Halo 4 quite a lot at the moment, just getting ready and warmed up for the Master Chief Collection. I'm sure all, a lot of you out there are all doing the same thing, but hopefully you enjoyed it.